Hi, morning. Alrighty. Trying to get situated here. Move this this way so you can see better. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna be trying to do a uh, really cool painting. Never done it before, so we shall see what we get. I'm going to put a base coat, a little bit of base coat. I made up some of this stuff yesterday. I had a workshop and the workshop went great. I taught them how to do a waterfall pour and how to do um, a Dutch pour. So it was really fun. Now, I'm gonna be doing, uh, that's kind of a lot of white. Probably should pour some of that back. Let me see. It's a little canvas, it's 12 by 12. I'll put a little more in here. Back. Mm. So let me tell you what's been going on. I had a ingrown toenail. I don't know if any of you have ever experienced an ingrown toenail. I can tell you it hurts. But this time it really didn't. It was really weird. Okay, I'm going to be putting this color here is like a gray. I had to make my own gray. I didn't have any Payne's gray. So I'm going to pour it on the side. And I made it up. So we'll see how that comes out. I had no idea. I'm also going to put some gold, metallic gold, in between layers. I really don't want that much gold, but if I have to. Now this is a um, cerulean blue, and then this is ultramarine blue, and then I'm going to throw gold in between that. Or maybe, yeah, I think I'm put white. Only because I don't want it turning green, if you know what I mean. Or some more white. I'm not measuring anything, so let's hope we have enough to go here. Then, phalo. Let me get some phalo blue. Okay. And some more white. And then I'm gonna do real dark right there. And real oh and ultramarine. Okay. That should do. And some little more white, and then I wanna do the gold on top. Let me wipe that off. So we shall see what we get. All right. And I'm going to put some more gold here on top. A lot of gold. All right, now we'll see what happens. Can't promise this will even work. But we shall see. All right, now I'm gonna go in the middle. I do somewhat like a waterfall, except as you see, I'm not moving. I'm staying in right here. And you know what, you have to do plenty, you have to have plenty of paint on here. If you don't have that much paint, then you really can't do this because you don't, well, I didn't want to get that there, but we got it. All right, now let me put some gloves on. So anyway, so I had the ingrown toenail cut out. And it's an ordeal, it's like you have to have you have to soak it three times in Epsom salt the first three days. 
And then for two weeks after, you have to put antibiotic ointment on and soak it for two times. Now, I do know a girl that did not do that. She wasn't told by the doctor to soak it or anything like that. And, uh, get this. I'm going to pour the excess in here. Anyway, so she didn't, the doctor didn't tell her to, um, let me see what happens here if I go like this to soak it. So she's had it done about a few months ago and she is still in severe pain. Now that to me is ridiculous. So if your doctor tells you to, you know, soak it, by all means, soak it. All right, now I'm back this way. There's still a lot of pain on here. But that's the whole idea, is to have plenty of coverage. And go back this way. If you can see what I'm doing. Come on, come on, come on. All right, now, I really hate that. I'm pissed. I got that. I may have to try to get rid of it if I can. Just use my little fingers. Make sure I got coverage on all the corners. I don't even have my apron on. Bad girl I am. Bad girl. But anyway, that's what's been up to lately and I'm taking my own sister has to get back surgery, so I've been taking her to doctors. And, uh, yeah, it's one thing after another, but I don't mind. Okay, now let me see if I can just get rid of this a little bit. Or make it look like an explosion or something. Maybe little flowers. I don't know. We shall see. Now, in the back side, I have, um, the tape. That's not going to move down much. Well, this surely did not turn out like I thought it would. It's different. Not too thrilled with that gray. That gray color kind of sucks. It worked yesterday and what we did it worked beautifully, actually. I'm going to try and open this up a little bit. New. Hmm. I wonder if I should do something else on top. I'm going to try some more here. Pour the rest of the colors in here. If I have any. hit my shirt. And the gold kind of disappeared, didn't it? No gold. It's really odd. I'm trying to open the the container up without touching. There we go. I'm not going to seal it. Here, why are you sitting there? Okie dokie. Try again. Use my left hand this time. <laughs> Let's 
see how that works out. One thing about it, if you don't like it, you do it again or you add to it. You can do all kinds of stuff with this paint. It's fabulous paint. It's all Liquitex Basics with Artist Loft White for the base coat. And uh, I love the blues. All right. Now let me just do this. I don't know what this is going to be, but you know, you experiment. That's what you have to do when you when you're bored. I'm gonna go this way. Get some of that off there. I don't want to get all of it off. I do love this blue. Mm -mm -mm. Scrumptious. I'm trying to get it off the one side here. I do not. All right, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Come on, come on, come on. Four, four, four. Okay. Now, let's see what we got. Certainly not what Sarah did. But this is coming out. Really cool looking. Now let me see which way do I want to bring this. I think I'm gonna pour some of it this way. If I can get some more of that green off. I don't know why the heck that came out green. That's really weird. I put white over the blue, but I guess it wanted to go in there. Kind of like it. I'm going to torch it and let's see what magic appears now. There's absolutely no silicone in here whatsoever. But it will give me cells, probably little cells, which I do love on these. So, okie dokie. Where'd my torch go? Maybe here. All right. Some paint off my arm. Alright. Let's see what happens. See that? Here's oh, look at that. I love the little cells. Anybody can have big cells. If I wanted to put silicone, it would have been big cells, but I like the little ones in this particular style painting. It makes it look a little bit like snow on a snowy mountain. Use your imagination, people. Okay, so let me see if I could stretch some of them a little bit. Not much, probably. Give us some of that green some more. Just as I'm go. That is cool looking. I really like this. Oh, look at all the lacing. Oh, I love it. Have it something I didn't know I was as something totally unexpected. Wasn't didn't think I was going to get this, but this is really cool looking. And that's half the battle is having things happen that you don't know is going to happen, and then you end up making a masterpiece like this. I like this. Let me get this over here. Oh no, I think I'm going to let it dry here a little bit. 
before I move it to my station across from me. What do you think, huh? Let me get down, down here. And, oh, here you have it. Nice close up. Here. I've got the glare from my window, don't forget. Okay. I love the blue. Blue, blue, blue. And look at this, this is amazing. All the cells. Let me turn the light out. Turn one light on. One. Okay, this should be able to see better. That's cool. You have to tell me what you think. I haven't been doing this in a while. I've been too busy straightening out and getting rid of stuff and trash and, you know, I'm actually going through bills and throwing them away. I mean, 10 year old bills, come on, I don't need to keep them. So, just statements which don't mean anything by now. It's over 10 years old, so why we kept them, I have no idea, but, this is really cool. But we have a, a shredder guy coming to come to the house and to shred anything in. You know? That's a big picture of it. Okay, my cool, huh? Alright, guys. Have an awesome day, and I will catch you maybe later on. You never know. Or tomorrow. Bye.